Hi there my beautiful Thrivers! Welcome back to another video with Thriving in Chaos. If you're new here, you've just clicked on one of my DIY custom envelope videos in which I take one or more of my envelopes that I use for my cash stuffing and I decorate them up to my preference and liking using very cheap and inexpensive materials such as sharpie markers, a little bit of rhinestones, sometimes a couple of different effects which you might see in today's video. Overall, just decorating my envelopes to something that I like. It inspires me and it keeps me going in this process, so I figured I would share that with the world of YouTube. <laughs> So, if you're interested and you want to stick around, please do, and also consider hitting that subscribe button. I would love to have you as a part of my family. It is free for you, but it means the world to me. And if you are already one of my subscribers, hi, how you doing? I hope you guys have been having a great weekend, and without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> Let's get right to this. The first envelope that I'm going to be working on today is car maintenance. This is the envelope that I use to build savings for car maintenance and for tags and things like that. Anything pertaining to the car, this is where that money goes. So I want to decorate this envelope up, make it look really cute, and add it to my collection. So, I will be removing these stickers. If needed, I will be using Goof Off Remover to remove any kind of sticker residue that may have stuck on there. And then I'll be replacing it with this. It's pretty straightforward. I found an image online, put it into my pocket Procreate, added my favorite font here, and that's about it. It's pretty straightforward. It's the easiest of the two that I'm going to be doing in this video. So if you've never watched my video, how it works is I just slide this image inside of my envelope like this. I'll tape it down just to ensure that it doesn't move. And then using Sharpie markers, and I think I'm going to go with a purple instead of this maroon color. So using the Sharpie markers, I will trace over the outline of this and color it in. And then put any rhinestones on it afterwards if I think it will look good. I'm going to do all of that off of camera. So the next clip you'll see is me going ahead and tracing this up. So I hope you enjoy the music and enjoy watching me do this. as I thought it was going to be the letters I'm going to have to keep in mind in the future when I do them um, to not do them too small because it's really hard to get in those little spaces with a sharpie marker so I think I did okay I tried to outline with the more fine tip sharpie marker but the only problem I run into with using the fine tip is that this doesn't dry I don't know if you can see, let me try and 
see if I can get it to show. But the little black line that I put on there, it'll just bubble up and sit there. So what I end up having to do is just take some paper towel, lightly press on it, and then just, you know, put some pressure so that it p draws up a lot of that bubbly stuff. So I will do that off camera of course but I'm gonna let this sit aside to dry and we will move on to my next one house maintenance so using the same process I'll take off these stickers use the goof off if needed and um, let it dry if that's required and then we will be replacing it with this I've changed it to just Home. So all things home, which encompasses a lot of things. I don't know if you can really tell, but there's some brick that I put behind it. I'm not going to do the full square of brick. I've made like a little design on where to end the brick. You can kind of see just lightly with pencil where I'm going to be going with this. Just to kind of look like a chunk of brick. I did that on both sides so we'll see how it turns out but I will be using a different method we've used before in my groceries I will be taking the gray sharpie marker using a little bit of acetone and a small paintbrush it's so small you can barely see it and using this to blur it out and make it more of this brick color that's going on in here and then I'll come back with some black probably to outline the brick better and then doing home over top of it so we're gonna try this method out again and see how it does we know it did well with the groceries envelope and if you didn't see that video you can go and check that out after this and we'll see how it goes so enjoy watching <laughs> this one so 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 much it turned out so good I'm like really happy with it it's simple but it's also I don't know I just really like it so now we have our two envelopes car maintenance and home this one of course I have to do my um, technique here but I think this looks really good and I don't know that I actually want to do any rhinestones on these so I think I'm not gonna do any rhinestones on these just for this video but if I change my mind obviously you'll see that when I'm flipping through but I'll just sit on it until I figure out what I want to do with that but all in all this looks really good so let's go ahead and put this in our binder which goes in our short-term binder. So we have our self-care and then house maintenance or what is now called home will go here. And then we have our gifts. Clothing might be next, who knows. 
family fun. Okay, where did it go? I think I skipped it somehow. Aha, here we go. Car maintenance. Oh man, that looks so good. Especially with the purple binder. I didn't even think about that. Alright, so let's do a flip through of what we have so far in this binder and what we need to work on. We've got our self-care. Home. Gifts. Clothing. Family fun. Car maintenance. Amazon date night and our YouTube giveaway alright guys so if you're watching this and you're still here why don't you put in the comment below which envelope you would like to see me do next it might be one of the ones that you choose which we have clothing family fun Amazon and that's it. Clothing, Family Fun, and Amazon. It's really only three left. I'd like to see what your opinions are on which ones you would like to see me do. We actually also have the long-term binder, so if you remember ones that are in there and you want to see me do them, you can stick that in the comments too. But for now, we will go ahead and call this done. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I enjoyed making it, as always. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you as a part of my family. We're growing day by day. We are at like 369 the last I looked. So that's pretty awesome. And I plan to throw a really nice giveaway at 500. So if you want to be a part of that, go ahead and click that subscribe button and join my family. I may have a very special video coming this is a one-of-a-kind video. As you know, a lot of people are getting their child tax credit payments, and I finally got mine in the mail. We had to do that because we, you know, merged bank accounts, so they had to send it via mail. But I finally got mine, and so I will be doing a cash stuffing with that, but also a very special side hustle. Not mine, but my husband's. So he's letting me stuff some of his side hustle into these, which I'm super hyped about. So be looking out for that video. It might be the next one that drops. Who knows? All right, guys. Well, I will see you in the next video, whichever one that might be. And as always, until next time. Bye.